Next story is a serious one. Um, please be cautious about young viewers. It is not suitable for them. Um, it also might be triggering for survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault, but it is a very important story to share. And thank you to actress Evan Rachel Wood, who is speaking about her allegations of abuse against former fiance Marilyn Manson. And for the first time in her new documentary, Phoenix Rising, uh, Evan opens up about the shocking details. Please look at her story. Actress and model Evan Rachel Wood has made a name for herself as a rising star in Hollywood since childhood. At 14, she was cast in the teen movie 13, a breakout role that launched her into the media spotlight. And years later, it caught the attention of rock star Marilyn Manson. In 2006, at just 18, Evan met the then 37-year-old Manson. For four years, the pair made headlines for their on and off again romance. They were briefly engaged before finally calling it quits in 2010. Speculation intensified about their relationship in 2016 when Evan began to speak out on behalf of survivors of sexual assault. In 2018, she testified in front of Congress that a former partner gaslit, brainwashed, and even raped her while unconscious. My abuser was very sadistic and uh, calculated and um, uh, would threaten me, blackmail me. But it wasn't until February 1st, 2021, that Evan named Marilyn Manson as her abuser for the first time. In her new documentary, Phoenix Rising, Evan alleges that she was threatened, raped, drugged, and tortured at the hands of her former fiance. Evan is not alone. More than a dozen women have also come forward with their own stories of alleged abuse by Manson, and several women have filed lawsuits against him. Manson has denied all the allegations of abuse against him and insists that all of his relationships were consensual. He recently filed his own lawsuit against Evan and another woman, accusing them of conspiracy, infliction of emotional distress, and defamation. Evan has said that she will no longer be silenced by fear of retaliation and is sharing her story to stand with all survivors and show they are not alone. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You have been out there sort of promoting <sighs> this documentary. Yes. So there's so much that comes out in the documentary about your relationship with Marilyn Manson, Brian Warner, and there's so many wonderful things about our business. You're still doing it, I'm still doing it. Absolutely. But there is a submissive mind game, performing, people pleasing, no boundaries, oddity of you do what you're told. So growing up that way, what was that like for you? Set the stage because it feels like is that such an odd catalyst for what happened with you and Marilyn? Uh, absolutely, and that's why it was important for me to tell that side of the story because uh, otherwise we're just treating the symptoms and not, and not the, the root. And that's why it goes into my background, it also goes into Brian's background to understand how we got here and you know, what was the polarity that, that created this lightning. Um, and uh, I mean, you really hit the nail on the head. I, I, uh, I think it was Yama Van Sant who said this once, and I'm obsessed with her and the work she does with family, uh, but she was speaking to somebody and she said, you grew up, you weren't raised. And that hit me in such a deep place because I realized that I had to grow up so quickly and I was being rewarded and taught sort of all the wrong lessons for a young woman, which was uh, the less boundaries I had, the more love I would receive, the more successful I would be, the more I would be taken seriously. If I said no, I was being difficult. Yes. If I was obedient, I was being good. Yes. Yeah, and these things, and so, and that's a very dangerous uh, environment to be raised in because then you end up a young adult uh, a child in a woman's body, essentially. And I you're such easy prey. And I was 18 when I met Brian, and legally I'm an adult, but I have lived no life as an adult. 